Hello friends, it's Mark out in the back 40 and today is May 4th and I just wanna give you a real quick update on how the green, the brand new green drill, the Tar River DRL 072 did no-till drilling, even though it's not a no-till drill, how did it do going through all the debris that's in the food plot here? Um, and just kind of give you, it's gonna be a rough video, it's gonna be ugly, but I just thought I'd pop out here real quick just to show you in case you're curious and why do I have this pretty uh, shirt on? Because it's sprayed with permethrin for the ticks. Ticks are terrible this year. Like you walk out here and boom, you got ticks on you like that. So I spray this with permethrin and keep it up in my barn all the time. So maybe you want, want to do the same thing too if you got ticks, but anyways. So here you go, let's kind of take a look at the ground. quick now over here this tall stuff here this actually don't look at this and get excited about this <laughs> this was drilled in last fall with a grain drill an old grain drill and i've got a video on on the channel there if you want to look at, at what was going on with this whole thing so that's not it but that was but i will tell you that was no-till drilled in with a plain old grain drill not a no-till drill but just a plain grain drill and look at i mean you can see how good it came up like look at this it's full coverage and you can see down in there, it's got some clover, clover, clover drilled in with basically rye. And you can see the debris that it drilled through. So, but anyways, what we want to talk about is this over here. Now, this last year was drill was growing. You can see how heavy the stalks are. I mean, this is heavy stuff. This was corn and um, sorghum sudan grass and a lot of real heavy 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 stuff but uh, so what we want to see is how well did the drill do uh, on this so let's just pick a line here so here's a line i don't know if you can see it right here right there's a line so i'm just i think i'm just going to follow that along a little bit and you can see where it starts and stops now there's there's two lines here so let's just kind of follow those so, I mean, it's growing good here. Looks like it's just a little skip right here, but there it is growing. There's some clover getting ready to come up. It's been kind of cold. Here it's skipped about a foot. And right here's the other one. So, I mean, you can see this is heavy. I mean, that's some pretty heavy stuff right there. And here's, this is growing. So I got that in. There's a little clover. I don't know if you can see that right there. So, I mean, the clover hasn't even got going yet because we're not getting good rain right now. But here, through shit, like look at all the garbage on here. Here's some more. Drilled through the crap. Here's some more. I mean, look at this right here. Like those are growing. Is that a better angle? Those are growing. And this, look at all the thatch that it drilled through. So if I pull that away, you can see what's in there. So somehow I got this down in there. There's a pea. Here's a pea that got in there. So you just keep following this. Here's some more rye. And again, look at how much junk is in here. Look how thick this is. There's another pea. Clover. And again, look at it coming up through here and look at all the debris. So, okay, is that enough? <laughs> so if you get back here, you can just see the faint rose. And uh, you know, like I said, we have not been getting good, good rain. So it's just not going real good and we need rain. But I can tell you this, here's this dry spot. This shows you how dry it is. Cause that doesn't have cover on it. But yeah, you get down here, you can see the faint rose in there. So that's, I just wanted to shoot this real quick to give you an idea of how well did it drill through everything. Now there's a lot of weeds in here and it's gonna take another year or two to really get the system going. But uh, we are on the right track. So any questions, give me a shout down in the comments. Thanks.